Hi everyone, it's Janine Delaney. I am here at the studio of health.com and I am going to be showing you an awesome 20 minute jump rope cardio workout. You can see that I have my rope with me. For those of you who know me on social media, you may also know me as the jump rope queen, which I have been coined because jump rope is one of my favorite forms of cardio. So before we get into the workout, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about why I love jump rope so much. I did not jump rope as a kid. Believe it or not, I started at the age of 40, and I will be 49 next month. So jump rope is brand new to me. And I mention that because all of you out there who think you're not coordinated and that you can't jump rope, you can. Trust me, I was awful when I started, and I just kept practicing and practicing. So today what I want to do is I want to give you some, trip, some tips so that you can become an awesome jump roper and you can build it into your workout. One of the great reasons jump rope uh, is perfect for cardio is that it can be done anywhere, anytime. So it's not contingent on the weather, right? You can do it at home, you can do it at the gym, you can do it in your backyard. If you're like me, you may bring it to the beach and do it in the sand and maybe even att attempt some dumbbell unders. Um, it's also really inexpensive. So unlike a lot of other expensive pieces of exercise equipment, you can get a jump rope at a, at a pretty good cost. And then my favorite reason is that it provides an overall body workout. So I'm not a fan of running. I've never been a fan of running. I find it a little boring. And I also think it's sometimes a little hard on your body. Jump rope is probably the best way to get every part of your body working. So you're gonna get your legs, you're gonna get your shoulders, and it's amazing for abs. So all you folks over the age of 40 who are struggling with some belly fat, pick up a jump rope and you're gonna see a huge change. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna tell everyone is the size of the rope is the most critical thing you need to know when you start to jump rope. If you think you can't jump rope, it's probably because you don't have the right size rope. How do you know if it's the right size rope? I'll show you my trick. I'm gonna put my foot right in the middle of the rope and I'm gonna take both handles and I'm gonna put them over to the right side of my body. And you can see where they come to, just a little bit over my shoulder. So that means it's a good size rope. If it's too short or too high, you're gonna get tripped up in the rope. So that's the number one trick. So when we jump rope, okay, I'm gonna start a little bit. What we want to do is we don't really want to belabor it. As you can see, I'm jumping kind of not too high, right? We see a little out of people going like this. They get really tired. You want to start to get your form down where you're really just turning your wrists. And a lot of these jump ropes nowadays have the little swivel handles, so it makes it super easy that you can just get some wrist action going. So those are my tips. After the workout, I'll tell you how you can watch some of my tutorials so you can learn a few more tricks. So let's get started into the actual workout. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 20 minute jump rope circuit. Now I'm not gonna take you through 20 minutes of jump rope today. What I'll do is I'll teach you five moves that I recommend. They're pretty easy moves. You can do them with a little bit of practice. And when you do each of these moves, you do them for one minute and then you rest for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's about a seven minute circuit. You repeat those moves three times and that will give you your 21 minute jump rope circuit. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna talk about what part of the body it works. So the first one we're gonna do is, I call it a waist whittler. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go side to side. And you can see when I do that, it's really hard to talk while you're jumping too, trust me. When I do that side to side, it's gonna work my obliques, which are the little sides of my stomach. So side to side. Sometimes I do it both sides. You can see I'm doing it. Switching two, two, just keep moving, okay. And I have a shoelace that's untied. So I'm gonna use that as a great excuse to catch my breath, okay. Those are my waist swimmers. I love them. We're gonna do those for a minute. You can see I'm out of breath. 
and then we're gonna go 30 second rest and move on to our next exercise. Now I'm gonna mention this to you. This is a weighted rope, okay? So this is not an ordinary rope, which is probably one of the reasons that I get out of breath a lot when I do it. I just started using the weighted rope system. I absolutely love it. This is a quarter pound rope. I started to learn with a speed rope, which is a lot lighter. Um, those are great for doing tricks, but if you wanna really burn fat, get the muscles working, pick yourself up a weighted rope. Okay, so that's number one, waist swiddler, side to side. You know, you don't even need a rope. You can just do these on your own too. Such a great exercise. Okay, the second exercise we're gonna do is called the skier. So just like when you ski, you're gonna go side to side. Okay, now this is great for what we call the adductor muscles and your inner thighs. So side to side and really working those legs. So we're just gonna ski. Okay, keep this up for one minute. You wanna make sure that you're always breathing. Exhale, exhale. Very important, don't hold your breath. You can see how my wrists are just moving a little bit, right? Just moving a little. You know, you can have some fun and you can move in forward. You can move in back. You don't have to stay stationary. So that's number two. It's called the skier. We do that for a minute. We take a 30 second press. Okay. The next move we're gonna do are called crisscrosses. So this, I was a dancer. One of the reasons I'm coordinated with the jump rope is that I spent most, most of my childhood doing ballet. So I like to take one of my ballet moves and jump. We do the same thing with the jump rope. Okay. Front and back. You can do it, I promise. Probably looks a little complicated. Again, two to the front, two to the back. Okay, nice. So, when you first start jump roping, you might start to get a little bit of like a shin splint. So a lot of times people ask me questions about that. By the way, if you're following me on social media, you know I love to get questions. I love to answer questions, especially when it comes to jump rope. So people say to me, why am I getting these shin splints? What do I do about them? So I have a few suggestions. One is make sure you get good sneakers, right? You wanna have sneakers that have good cushions on them. Second is make sure you're jumping on a good surface. So don't go out on the concrete that's not a good sur surface. A great surface might be the gym mat or even on the grass because there's cushion and there's give. Now, sometimes you will get shin splints even if you're doing all the right things. However, give yourself a break, let your body rest for a couple of days, just like any other muscle that you're working. You're gonna use different muscles while you're jumping. Your body needs a chance to recoup and regenerate. So that's my little lecture on making sure you're jumping on a good surface. So now we're gonna move into number three, which is open and close. Again, these are all pretty basic. So we're gonna go open and close, kind of based on some similar cardio movements. Okay, open and close. Open, close. Okay, this is a little more challenging because you kind of have to get the timing down. Okay, when you're doing this also, be cognizant of your core. Jump rope is such an amazing core workout. Squeeze it. See, I'm getting lazy and I'm not squeezing my core. I'm gonna squeeze my core. Okay, this is tough. I'm getting tired. If I'm getting tired, you know that this works. Open and close, okay. 
Another common question I get when it comes to jump roping is how long you should do it. So it's hard, you know, when you first start learning, how, how are you gonna jump rope for 20 minutes? What you wanna do is you wanna build up to that. So you wanna take maybe a 30 second jump. You don't have to do anything crazy. You just wanna basically jump rope, get your groove on, start practicing, feeling more comfortable. Then you take a break. Over time, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get better and better and you're gonna eventually be able to do more. Okay, so that's my little explanation on how long you should jump rope. How long do I jump rope? Personally, I go for probably 20 to 30 minute sessions and I will do them maybe three times a week. And I think that's great, great form of cardio. Okay, so we've done the waist whittlers, that was number one. We've done the skiers, that was number two. We have done the crosses, right? That was number three. We just did open and close, and that was number four. Again, one minute, I know that's a lot. If you can't do the minute, do the 30 seconds, build up to the minute. Then you rest for 30 seconds and go into number two. The last one, it's a little challenging. I love this one, it's great for shoulders. When I started jump roping, I noticed that my shoulders really started to develop. My shoulders did not look like this. Um, of course, I use weights, that helps also, but seriously, jump roping is such a great overall body workout. You're gonna be amazed at how much it helps with your upper body strength and development. So, this one is called the cross, and people love this. Super badass move when you get good at it. It's really not that hard, but you do need to practice it. So this is when you cross your arms. So I'm gonna do a few of these. Okay. And you just cross. I used to cheat when I first learned how to do these. I thought I was doing them right, but I wasn't. I actually wasn't looping the rope around my body. You could get fancy and go like that. I have all sorts of good things. So that's a cross. You can see when I'm crossing, you could probably see I have a nice little shoulder pump going on. So that will take us to a jump rope workout, right? 20 minute circuit. We did the waist whittlers. We did skiers. We did the front back ballerina feet. We did open and close. And then lastly, we did the cross. One minute each, 30 seconds in between, three sets, 20 minutes, you're good to go. Try this workout three times a week. I promise you in two weeks, you are gonna see a huge change in your body. So for those of you who go on YouTube, you may have seen some of these like amazing jump rope transformations. They're for real. People who jump rope, there was one video I watched where the man who did it showed his progression from his first week to his 12th week. You could see the timeline of he had a high body fat percentage to his abs were shredded in the 12th week. This is no joke, this is the real deal. I would love for you guys to pick up a rope I would love for you to try to learn some of my tricks. So for those of you who are interested in learning more, you can definitely see my routines on my Instagram, which is just my name. It's at Janine underscore Delaney. And what I really encourage you to do though is to go to my YouTube page. So on my YouTube page, I have tutorials. They are very short and to the point. I'm not gonna force you to watch a 20 minute tutorial. There are about three minutes. We have some slow-mo action, and I will actually walk you through the steps to learn the cross. The double unders, which is what we did not cover today, but one of the most effective jump rope exercises is when you swivel your, I'll do one real quick.
That's a double under. That's hard. So I have tutorials on that. I have tutorials on the EB, which is when you cross like this. I've been learning all sorts of things. Would love for you to go check it out on my YouTube channel. And then anybody who wants to train with me, you can do that right now. I have a Fit Plan app. If you can't find it, I will be happy to give it to you if you want to message me on Instagram. It's called 12 Week Total Body Tone. And you're going to love it because it's completely different than anything you've ever done before. It's an overall body workout, but it's designed to get you fit from the inside out. So I always like to say that fitness is really about how we feel inside. It's not, it shouldn't be about just what we look like, right? As you get older, what you want to focus on is how you feel and having the energy levels you need. So my design of my fit plan is based on that. It's about getting you to look good, getting you to feel good, getting your energy levels up, overall fitness, overall conditioning. It's downloadable on any device, very inexpensive. Um, we also have a private Facebook community where we talk a lot about diet and nutrition. So I would love to see you guys there. Awesome Rope by Cross Rope, my favorite product. You can see it gets me completely out of breath. I hope you guys found value today. It was really fun working with you. And I look forward to teaching you more workouts.